So I'm standing out front with my neighbor, Peter, and he says, whoa, you got a red room up there. He had glanced up through the second floor window and saw the den, which my wife and I had just painted. Sure is, I said, nodded, looked at him like a proud homeowner. Red rum, he said, just like the kid in The Shining. Red rum. And he started laughing and he walked back home saying it over and over again. Red rum, red rum. It was totally creepy. And not surprisingly, it was just before the house tried to kill me for the first time. If you caught last month's letter to TOH, that's last month's letter right there, you know the room tried to kill me when it threw down its plaster ceiling, narrowly missed my head, this much. That's the ceiling or the lack of it in that picture there. Of course, the den it wasn't always so homicidal, but it wasn't so red either. It started out something called Roadster White, a genteel old color from Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, WW31. I really liked it. My wife though, she thought we needed more excitement. So we took a gamble on Silver Dollar. Benjamin Moore, 1460. It was a little lightweight. Brought in Elephant. Valspar, 40062A. Didn't like that either. So we went to Dust Storm. Valspar EE2046C. And then four and five and six other colors. I don't know, maybe a dozen. And I got the pants to prove it. Those are the pants right there. We ended up with something called Geranium. Benjamin Moore, 1307. Though, the way things are going, it might be more aptly called carry at the prom. I'm guessing that's Benjamin Moore 666? <coughs> Color, as we always say at this old house, adds personality. Color, we say, adds impact. In my case, the personality's a Stephen King villain. The impact, well, that could cause you bodily harm. Who knew? Scientists, apparently, when they showed volunteers colored circles of paper and asked them which ones would win a physical competition, nearly all of the volunteers picked the red circles. So what's that mean to you? Well, probably nothing. It's colored construction paper in my house, after all. But I'd still recommend that you read two excellent color stories we have in this issue of This Old House. Refresh Your Rooms with Color, that's on page 56. And then All About Interior Paint on page 76. They've got tried and trusted advice to help you make a safe choice for every room in the house. Plenty of inspiration, real world examples of what colors to pair together, simple how-to for beautiful results, lots of tips and tools, everything, everything you need to know to do it right the first time. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, my wife and I live uneasily with our color, though not for long. In the photo there, I'm not using that fan deck to be all geisha girl demure. The room might think that, and that's good, I want it to. Because what I'm doing is I'm looking for a new hue, something less frightening, something a little more calming, something such as the very sweet puppy paws. Benjamin Moore, 1156, puppy paws. Of course, with my luck, that puppy, he'll grow up to be Cujo. <coughs>